Hello people, I am Kishan and in this video we will be talking about what is virtual DOM in ReactJS. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. To learn what is virtual DOM, you should also have some basic idea about DOM. So what is DOM? DOM stands for Document Object Model. It is just a hierarchical representation of your web pages. To make things simpler, I have uh, created an example of a blogging website. So the structure of uh, DOM of the blogging website would be as follows. So as the root, root node, we have our blog list component and each blog list component can, uh, can have multiple blog components and each blog component would have a comment list component and a comment list component would have infinite number of comment components. So this is just a basic representation of uh, our blogging, blogging website into the DOM. So moving forward, so what is virtual DOM? In simple words, virtual DOM is just a copy of the original DOM kept in the memory and sync with the real DOM by libraries such as React DOM. Virtual DOM has the same properties that of the real DOM, but it lacks the power to directly change the content of the screen. Then you can think of virtual DOM as the blueprint of a machine. Changes made to the blueprint doesn't reflect on the machine itself. Moving forward, how virtual DOM works. So here we have a blogging website DOM. So this is our virtual DOM. This is pre-updated virtual DOM. Pre-updated virtual DOM is nothing but just a snapshot of our virtual DOM right? taken right before uh, any update meets to the virtual DOM. So that's that. And this is our real DOM. So here we'll be adding a new blog component to our blog list components in the virtual DOM. So see here, our new component has been added. So what uh, React will do is it will compare virtual DOM with pre-updated virtual DOM to see that what uh, are the changes made. So it will compare uh, node by node. First, it will compare root node like uh, this blog list component to this blog list component. Both are same. Then these three components, all three are the same. But the fourth component, that is something new. So React marks this as the new thing in the virtual DOM and it just only updates this thing in the real DOM. So, so here it has been added in the real DOM. So that's uh, the concept of virtual DOM. So moving forward. But wait, we got a problem with the current implementation. So in the previous scenario, we added a new block component at the end of our root node. But in this scenario, we'll be adding the new block component at the start of our root node. So we'll be adding it. So what React will do is it will start comparing the virtual DOM with the pre-updated virtual DOM step by step. So it would compare this block list component with this block list component. Both are the same. Now it would try to compare this block component with this block component, but it would determine that these both are different. This is the newly added block component. So it would stop the uh, comparing process from here. And since this is the root node from here, it would not go beyond this and mark this whole thing as the updated state. So it would break the chain of comparison from here and update everything from here. So it would uh, update everything in the real DOM. So that is unnecessary. That's the issue. There is a solution for this. The people at React developed a key attribute. When the children of the React components have keys, React uses the keys to match children in the pre-updated virtual DOM. So let's understand this with an example. So we have the same blogging website DOM. Here, uh, there's a small difference. We have added a key to all the DOM nodes. So here you can see that uh, in the middle we have this key. So considering the previous scenario, we'll be adding the new component again at the front of our tree after the root node. So it has been added, but here you can see that uh, I've also given keys to them. So when React will start comparing virtual DOM with the pre-updated virtual DOM, it would see that this component has been added. So it would just add this to the DOM here. So with the help of key attribute, React uh, prevents this unnecessary re-rendering of the unchanged components. So let's do a quick recap of the things we have learned in this video. So 
First of all, frequent DOM manipulations are heavy and expensive. Then virtual DOM is a virtual representation of DOM in memory, nothing else. Next, virtual DOM is sync with real DOM with React DOM library. This process is also called reconciliation. Next, React compares the virtual DOM and pre-updated virtual DOM and only marks the subtrees of components that are updated. This process is also called diffing. The algorithm behind the diffing process is also called as diffing algorithm. Then React uses keys to avoid unnecessary re-renders. Thank you for watching the video. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel.